What's up guys and this video is going to be about the Apple Watch and as you can tell by this, this video is going to be about the update for the Apple Watch. And now let's just get started. This is Apple Fox channel here and today let's take a look at the new stuff that the watchOS 4.2.3 actually brings. This is the brand new update that Apple has just pushed out alongside with the iOS 11.2.6 that I just made a video about and those two updates are sort of connected together. As I already mentioned, I made a video about it on the iPhone and then I found out that there is pretty much a new update for the Apple Watch so I was like, I have to make a video about that because I just need to let you know what's new and if you should go ahead and update it. So let's take a look at it on the Watch app on my iPhone. So going into the general section, you can see or you will be able to see uh, that there is this one batch and here as you can see, it is the WatchOS 4.2.3, it is waiting to install. So all I have to do now is click on the install now button, but just like all the time, every time I make a video about it, you know, like every time I click on the install now button, you can see that the Apple Watch needs to be about 50% charged and it happens all the time. If you want to, you can take a look or check out the other old videos where I talk about the watchOS updates. I believe that in every single of those, I had come up with this type of message and it's so annoying, but anyways. What's interesting though is that I have 79% of the battery, which is kind of weird, but anyways, let's take a look at it one more time. Yeah, but the thing is that the Apple Watch doesn't only need to be charged at at least 50% or higher, but it also has to be connected to the charger. And now, when I click on the install now button, it should work. <laughs> After the Apple Watch finds out that it is connected. And as you can see, it is verifying now. But anyways, what is this update actually about? What does it bring? And should you really go ahead and update at first place? because it's a very small update. Taking a look inside of photos, you can see that the size of this update is 22.2 megabytes, which is really small, even considering that this is the Apple Watch update. Even though it is for the Apple Watch, it should be bigger if there are supposed to be new features or new stuff, but as you can tell, there isn't anything new. Only some major bug fixes. I said major because it really sucks if you are staying on the older version. In the description of the update, I can actually read that the issue that this update is fixing has to do something with the iPhone and the crash which was present in the messages app. As you can see, the Indian character, as I was talking about it in the past, I made some videos about it. You can check it out if you want to. By the way, if you are new to the channel or if you haven't seen me, holding an iPhone or Apple product in my hand in a video, then you should start by pressing the subscribe button. You won't miss any new video and you will always be updated and know what's going on. But anyways, the watchOS 4.2.3 fixes an issue where using certain character sequences could cause apps to crash. And this is the Indian character, which was not readable by Apple products in the older versions, in that version it is completely okay. But the reason why this update is so important is because many people update their iPhones and they think that it is okay, uh, the messages crash couldn't really affect me anymore because it has been fixed and uh, they are right, but they forget about the Apple Watch. And in case someone sends you this type of message, it, because people are always trying that out, it, everybody talks about it, and people still want to like fool people and want to send this malicious text message, but in case that happens and you see the notification on the Apple Watch or go to the conversation in the app, it will crash because the Apple Watch is not able to read that. Even though your iPhone can now, but the Apple Watch simply can't. And you have to update the WatchOS 4.2.3 in order for it to be fixed. That's all basically what you need to know about this update. There isn't anything else, there are no new features, no new emojis. It's all about this bug fix. But as you can tell, it is a really small update and we didn't really expect anything more. So that, my friends, is the end of today's video. I want to say thank you very much for watching until the end. Hopefully I provided you some cool or useful information about it, even though there isn't much what I could tell you about it, as you can see, it's just about that one bug fix, which is really important in my opinion. But anyways, if the question is if you should go ahead and update, I think you should. And also subscribe for more Apple Watch updates, iOS updates, as well as some other reviews and you won't miss any new videos. So have a nice day and see you in the next one. Peace out guys.